A judge in Florida today said he is preparing to send a 17-year-old girl back home to Ohio, where the teen says her parents want to kill her. The girl made national headlines when she ran away from home after converting from Islam to Christianity. But even with today's court action, her future is still unclear. Here's Dan Harris. Rifka Berry was calm in court today, but this dramatic outburst over the summer, accusing her parents of wanting to kill her for converting from Islam to Christianity, made her case into a national sensation. They love God more than me. They have to do this. And I'm, I'm fighting for my life. You guys don't understand. And I, I, I don't understand. Rifka, who's 17, ran away from her parents' home in Ohio in July after an alleged confrontation with her father, taking refuge in Florida with Pastor Blake Lorenz and his wife, whom she met over the Internet. Weeks later, in their first national interview, Rifka's parents, Muhammad and Aisha Berry, told ABC News that their daughter had been coached, brainwashed, by members of the Christian community. This is a serious allegation she's making against it you. It is not true. It is not true. None of it? None of it is true. Rifka's attorney has argued that her father was a member of an extremist mosque. But Muhammad Berry pointed out that if he was truly a strict Muslim, he wouldn't have let his daughter be a cheerleader. A Florida Department of Law Enforcement investigation seemed to back him up, concluding that there was no credible threat to Rifka. If she's watching this, what would you want her to know? I would say that I, I love her. We have no problem with whatever she believes in. She, we want her to come back and be comfortable as a family together. I love her dearly. I want her to come back home. After a tense hearing today... You need to just stop and listen to the court. The judge in Florida said he will turn the case over to Ohio. They do have jurisdiction. But Rifka will not be going home to her parents, at least not yet. First, the religious runaway will be sent to a foster family in Ohio. Dan Harris, ABC News.